Davut Bey. Davut Bey. Nasılsınız? İyiyim. İyi misiniz? Gözünüzü açar mısınız? Davut Bey. Avrogan yok mu? Biraz. Birazdan parol takarız. Ağır kesici yaparız. Ondan da beraber kutun alalım. Hareket etme fazla. Assalamu alaikum guys. I hope you are having an amazing day. Inshallah, I'm having the best day of my life. Alhamdulillah. I can't really show a lot of expressions because my nose is, you know, it's it's kind of. I I shouldn't be making a lot of movements. So. The first question that probably uh, all, all goes into your mind is like, why did he do the nose operation? The thing is, when I was young, uh, like probably five or six year old, I fell from the top of the door, the door knob, not the knob, the, I don't know what it's called. Basically, when I was a kid, I used to climb up the, the door area, okay, and on top, and the... Uh, I accidentally jumped and fell on my nose and uh, I was I fainted as soon as that happened I fainted the next thing I know my mom woke me up and she was pouring water on my nose because it was bleeding really fast so I think that's when my nose broke and it became quite flat but uh, we probably we, I was very young and I didn't even know my my dad was actually outside, so it was only my mom and uh, my siblings. We didn't really know it was that serious. However, it was very serious, and my nose <coughs> it broke and became flat. And uh, I don't know if it's after that or it, was it always that I had extra flesh flesh piece of flesh in my nose, so it was really hard for me to breathe. I my nose used to be blocked every time. So we recently got to know about this like uh, maybe five years ago. Ever since then I've been uh, going through several hospitals to check how they can fix it. One doctor said your nose uh, is broken. It's, uh, it's, the direction is wrong. Another doctor said there's extra flesh and uh, there's some kind of... Uh, I forgot the word, but there was something inside here, which had became really big. It was, uh, I'm, I don't know, I don't know guys, whatever. So they did three kind of things. They cut the flesh, extra flesh from this side and this side. And they took out that, the word was very weird, pro lip, pro pill, I don't know. It was something, okay. <clears throat> so they took that out as well. Other than that. I was only going to fix these, however, the doctor was like, if you want uh, me to lift your nose a bit, I can do that. So, I went on Google, I went on Islam QA to check if this is haram or halal, okay? This is the most important question, guys. Is it okay, is it allowed in Islam to change the shape of your nose? If there is nothing wrong with it, if you look comp like, if there's, is, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you the question and the answer, okay, guys? So this is question number or answer number 47694, islamqa.info. The question is, I want to ask about cosmic cosmetic surgery on the nose. Is it haram especially since it causes me psycho psychological distress and affects my life? And the doctors have also said that I need surgery. The answer is, praise be to Allah, cosmetic surgery may be divided into two categories. Essential uh, surgery, which was mine. Mine was essential. These are the operations that are done to remove faults, such as tho uh, those that result from sickness, traffic accidents, burns, etc. Or to remove congen uh, congenital defects which a person was born, such as, to such as to remove an extra digit or separate fused digit. So, <clears throat> my, uh, this, the problem was caused... I think the extra flesh was flesh was there from before, but the nose became the shape became wrong after I fell, which when I was five or six year old. 
but uh, we didn't know that. Also, we were our circumstances wasn't in a way that I could get operation. I was very young as well. So the answer says this kind of operation is permissible. Alhamdulillah. There is evidence in the Sunnah that indicate that they're permissible and that the one who does them does not intend to change the creation of Allah. It was narrated from Arfaja ibn As'ad. I can't really speak a lot because just today I got out of the hospital. As'ad that he lost his nose in the battle of Al <coughs> Al Kulab during the Jahiliya. So he wore a nose made of silver but it became putrid. So the Prophet Sallallahu told him to wear a nose made of gold. Narrated by Al Tirmidhi 1770, Abu Dawood 4232, Al Nasai 5161. This hadith was classed as Hassan by Shaykh Al Albani in Irwa Al Ghalil 824. If you guys want to read more about this answer, the question number or the answer number is 47694 in IslamQA.info. So. <coughs> The doctor said after one week, I think they're going to take this off so you get to see the, the complete shape of my nose, inshallah. I hope, I hope uh, nothing goes wrong or it doesn't look too bad, inshallah, by the grace of Allah. So, I never really intended to reshape my nose, but the doctor was like, if you want, I can make it a bit up. And then I remembered that uh, I had fallen when I was young and that made my nose quite flat. So... <clears throat> Anyway, after that, I got the surgery done, alhamdulillah. Uh, you guys, I might put the pictures and the videos in the end as well, maybe. Uh, thank you so much for all your supports. I, I'm uploading this video firstly to let you guys know what's happening so that if I am late in uploading, you guys will know what's happening. Secondly, if I upload a video and my face looks different, I don't want that, you know, everyone to be shocked or anything. I just want everyone to be aware of uh, whatever has happened. And uh, what else did I want to say? Oh yeah, before going for the surgery, I was going to record uh, Muslim Money Highest. But unfortunately, I couldn't find the time, inshallah. So I guess as soon as I'm done, as soon as this is uh, okay, inshallah, I might make that video. And... Uh, I talked a lot. The main purpose for me to make this video was I have followers, alhamdulillah. If they see uh, that uh, I've uh, my I've changed my nose face, I mean shape has been changed uh, by doing an operation. I don't want the ones that don't know to think that uh, this is haram or halal because I gave you guys a reason and I told you guys the answer. So it's always better to uh, let you guys know what has happened and why it has happened. Thank you so much for watching, inshallah. And I'll keep you guys updated. Thank you so much. Assalamu alaikum.